Hey, what's going on guys? Zebs from Designs Academy here, bringing you another tutorial. It's been a while since I've that said that intro, um, but we're back in business. As you've seen from the update video, we're getting things going again. Um, so today, I decided to do another plugin tutorial. Now this was a plugin that I discovered uh, a few weeks ago actually, and I've just been kind of messing around with it a little bit and having some fun with it. And uh, the plugin I'm talking about today is called uh, Forester. And what this is, is it is a plugin that generates uh, trees, rocks, uh, you got your flora, like flora, so like flowers and stuff like that. Um, and basically, it makes these things for you so you don't have to spend hours and hours making different trees or different branch trees and whatnot. So it just speeds up the process of things. Um, you can use this plugin for pretty much any type of thing. The only thing that's holding you back is probably your imagination. Um, so uh, enough about that. Let's get right into it. Um, so basically, first thing what we're going to do is uh, we have it installed already. And I will have a download for this plugin in the description. Uh, it is a little hard to find, so I decided, well, I'll just put it in the description. It's super easy. Um, so we have it installed. And basically, if we hover over Forrester, we have a few options here. Um, so I guess I'm just going to kind of go down uh, some of these things and we're just going to kind of talk about each one, what they do, um, and some settings about them. Um, so basically right here is Forest to Rock. Uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. It generates like this little rock for you. Now the rock is probably the least like customizable one out of the bunch. Um, just due to the fact that, you know, it's a rock. Um, but you still have a bunch of settings you can mess with here in the, uh, and the rock. So basically, like, um, basically, we can just go through here and look at some of these things. And I'm going to talk about each one. So we'll start off with rock size. Obviously, it changes the size of the rock. Um, we have rock scale, which kind of changes the width and then the height and then, you know, things like that. So you can kind of make your own, like, custom made rock that way or like a rock size that you want. So if you want something super, like, squished, you can do that. Um, there's also a randomized rock feature, so if you just want a random rock, you can do that. There's also your incline, so kind of it uh, makes an incline over, so like this little like thing. So like if you wanted to make a cave, you could just get two rocks and make two inclines, and you can start making a cave that way. Or if you want the rock to lean on something, that's another option. You got your direction, which does nothing. <laughs> Rock taper, and I don't understand what rock taper does. Um, I've been kind of, I don't really use taper a whole lot just due to the fact that like, I don't understand what it does. I guess it kind of just like makes it taller, you could say. Um, but I usually don't mess with rock taper that much. Um, you got your vertical offset, kind of move it vertically. Uh, your strength, so you can have a very like deformed rock. Um, so basically what we got here is your basic rock. And if I mess, like, turn up the strength, it's going to start deforming it in more, uh, in its own, like, direction. The only problem with the deformation is rocks usually don't have, like, very, like, straight lines and edges like this. So that's why I usually don't mess with that. Usually I mostly just mess with, um, the, uh, size XYZ and the scales. Because that's usually enough for me to get enough or get a rock that I'm looking for if that makes sense um, and then we also have a couple other settings I'm not really gonna go through everything um, you're just gonna have to get the plug in and kinda experiment with it yourself um, but you can do a lot of like crazy things with this like you might even be able to do like a cool like abstract things with it if you like I don't know <laughs> I mess with it but that's a rock for you now, another cool thing about this um, plugin is Say you don't, like, you're not too familiar with, like, when it comes to texturing things. This plugin does come with, like, pre-made textures for uh, the things you're working with. Um, so let's say you don't have a rock material and you, if you, and you needed one. You can always just click this apply material right here. And it has this pre-made rock for you that can basically make a rock. <laughs> As you can see here, it is a rock thing. And you can mess with the rock, obviously. So if you wanted some displacement on it you can do so. So if we go into pictures and actually that's a lie. If we go into design, uh, textures, and then we 
get uh, grungy, I guess. And we just like, let's see what we got here. We add uh, maybe this one. We can add some displacement to our rock and that will add more depth when it comes to making with it to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, you can also pretty much edit any way you want since it's its own material. You're not restricted in any way so like you can pretty much do anything you want with it to customize it to your liking uh, which I find that to be really like cool and useful. So as you can see here like we just added some bump and some displacement to the rock and the rock already looks like a more rock like more like depth in it uh, just because I added displacement and bump to it the texture for this isn't even that bad um, so yeah so that's the rock section for you now we're gonna go into the one I personally like a lot which I feel like most people uh, would get this plugin for which is the Forster tree now this is where a lot of the customization comes in um, so basically when you do Forester get a tree it generates a random tree for you. Um, it's a very basic tree, not a whole lot, um, but you can edit it in a lot of different ways. So like say you, here, let's see, so you can adjust the trunk, um, but I'm trying to find, let's see here, where is it? You can mess with branches, so as you see here, if you go into branch level one, well there's different levels. So like branch level one, you can have the amount of branches that go up, um, and branch number two kind of changes it, like thinner branches, you could say. And then it just kind of like this like layer thing of just different branches so that you can have a tree that you want to have. You can customize it however you want. Um, there's also branch global. You can do things like that. Um, and then, so I'm not going to go through every setting of all of this because we'd be here for hours. So I'm just going to kind of skim through things that I find kind of cool. Um, so you can have a tilt in your branches if you guys want like I'm not kidding like the customization for this stuff is literally like endless like you can customize it however you want for whatever project you're working on there's also branch modifiers like there's there's just a bunch of stuff that you can go through I'm not gonna go through every single thing but another really cool thing is there's also a snow option um, so say if you're trying to work with something like winter related Jesus, I really messed that tree up. Hold on, let me get a a tree really quick, a good looking tree. Uh, what is it? It's kind of. There we go. This terrible here. Let me just get a new tree. <laughs> I was messing with settings as I was explaining the like customization, so I messed up the tree. But basically, you can have a snow, which also allows you to generate some s snow for your tree so if you're in like a winter scene you can put snow on your trees and you wouldn't have to like make a whole new snow thing you can customize the snow um, all of that there's also fruit uh, fruit which I'm not gonna mess with because I don't understand fruit that much but you can't add fruit I actually haven't messed with the fruit a whole lot just due to the fact that like I haven't really needed fruit on my trees so, but I know you can add fruit to your trees. Um, but another really cool thing about this is if you don't really want to go through basically like generating everything and like messing with all this, uh, there's also a tree library. And what this is, is it's basically a bunch of pre-made trees that are already textured for you. So say if you're just kind of feeling lazy and you didn't want to like make it, you just got to click one of these and it will texture the tree for you and it'll also generate that like randomized thing where what the tree is supposed to look like so if I rendered it out as you can see here without like any render settings or anything of that sort I'd say the tree looks pretty like decent and again also these are like just open textures so you can edit them however you want so like if I added this uh, turn that down turn that up actually turn that up and then did like a bump say so if I did just another one of these turn that up uh, the tree would also, the branch here would change to that. Yeah, let me, I don't want to render that, so we'll just do this. So I find this plugin actually pretty cool because, like, there's a lot of cool presets and there's also the amount of customization that you have when it comes to working with it. So as you can see here, finished rendering, we had displacement and bump. Uh, but yeah, so these, these materials do have the freedom to edit them however you want, so say if you didn't want the red, you can change that in the material thing. Which I'm not going to go over in this uh, video. 
Um, but yeah, you just gotta click and you can go through each one. Um, I do notice that there is a bug sometimes where basically when you click a tree, it doesn't generate the leaves. Um, and it only happens sometime. It doesn't happen all the time, but I've noticed it's kind of a weird bug that happens. Um, and I'm not sure how to fix it. Um, but yeah, so basically like you have the freedom to do what you want and say there's also another thing I'm about to show you which say if you don't want to go through all these tabs and like edit everything like manually There's also like a uh, Like a just an overview like basic customization um, So there's tree seeds so you can generate the trees however you like There's like the amount of branches and like how much is on the tree basically um, You can change the size its growth um, obviously it's size and just like kind of basic like basic customization so if you don't want to go through everything you can do that um so I find this plugin actually pretty cool when it comes to that just due to the fact that like you're not restricted in any way um so the final thing I'm gonna show you is the flora and what this is is it's basically like uh, basically plants flowers things like that so let me zoom into this really quick so you guys can see it bigger so as you can see here, we just have a basic like little like some like weeds coming out. Um, but you have a bunch of customization right off the bat. Like if you wanted flowers and whatnot, you just gotta click it and it'll make it for you. Um, already textured for you, everything like that. And again, you can customize the textures however you like. You're not restricted in any way of that form. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna get some roses. Or not roses, aster. Ooh, I like those. Okay. Um, so you can edit these however you want as usual like I was showing you it's basically the same thing there's still just a bunch of customization for basically all of this stuff um, you can change it however you want you can have bendy grass if you want uh, you can have some fold in your grass if you'd like and when we render it there you go you have that um, so there's really just like a lot of customization you can do here um, you're not restricted in any way as I've said many many times <laughs> that like there's a lot you can really do with this and like you can make forests that's why it's called forester you can like make parks you can do a lot of things with it and um, it's most of it's there for you like you have the freedom to make what you want but you also have the freedom to use from one of the mini presets um, so I think that'll wrap up the tutorial today um, basically I just kinda went over a quick overview of what the plugin has to offer and basically how to use it a little bit, which is super simple. There's nothing complex with it at all. Just click, just, just a bunch of clicking and changing uh, parameters and stuff. So nothing too crazy. Um, but this plugin I find really useful. So I'm gonna have a download for it down below. And I think that'll wrap up this tutorial. Now before I go, I do wanna say, if you're still watching, we do have a Discord server, which the IP will be in the description. And basically if you, if you wanna talk to me personally on like a one-on-one, -on -one, about designing we can basically if you like you wanted me to go over something you made we can talk about it things that I like things that you can improve on and whatnot and you can also get help from fellow uh, community members because it's gonna be a community server um, you, you have the freedom to talk to whoever talk to any of us of the designs Academy members and there and so forth to get, get help um, so there'll be that uh, the IP will be in the de description down below um, so that wraps up this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and comment on uh, some future tutorials I can make. Uh, I've been your host today, Zebs, and I'm out. Peace.